Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Leo. This is about your soul purpose and contract. Look at this, hostilities. The enemy is coming to rob, steal, kill, and destroy because you're on the temple path, because you have protection, because you have gifts. This is, you're in battle. You either Spartan up right now or you lay down and die. The energy is thick. Speak out about it. Speak your truth. Be authentic. Sometimes, now, more than ever, you will have to walk away from some people, some places, some things, and situations. Thanksgiving is this week. Some of you, you need to tell your friends, is this the last holiday you're going to see me? I'm not coming back around you. I can't stay here. You're going to have to walk away from things that distract you, that you know are not for your greatest and highest good. And sometimes that means that we have to walk away from ourselves. The old version of ourselves. That allows you to think that you should continuously allow people to silence you. No, you speak up and you speak out. Stop letting the words that other people have said to you rule and control you. Stop worrying about who talks to you and who doesn't. None of that matters. You have to walk away from things that don't serve you. I, you know, of course, I keep taking breaks because this year I really have just been leveling up myself. You have to be authentic. You have to stop giving your energy out. Your energy, that's your life force. Stop giving it out to the wrong people. Uh, attachment, exactly. Stop saying that you want to be a different person when you're still chaining yourself to the past. You have to walk away. You guys, these karmic contracts here, they're keeping you bound. I think that some people get confused and they think that because, oh, you know, there's an eclipse and there's good energy coming in that you just automatically get it. No, you have to work for that. You have to make the decision to say, if I'm going to take this mask off, if I'm going to step outside of the matrix, you have to walk away from what no longer serves you. You don't just wake up and oh, everything is great for you now. No, this is you have to make a choice. You have free will. What do you really want to do? Because I'm seeing you you guys like the news is so depressing. But it's not just the news, you guys. It's in our, our friendships, our relationships, our families. You can see these contracts. They're up. They're expired. But what I'm seeing is it's like the contracts are up and people are still sitting around. You divorce the friends, the family, the karmic partners, but you still hanging out with them. Until you choose to change your mindset and get out of that environment, you're going to be stuck. You're not moving. The enemy is coming in and people, what I noticed is, everybody's, this person is doing this to me. Well, the enemy attacked you three months ago. What in your life has changed in the last three months? Because the enemy will keep coming to you until you make yourself stand out. You got to earn your stripes right now. No stripes are just being handed out. Nobody's receiving, you know, just, no. nobody's receiving extra credit and extra bonus points without doing the work. You have to do the work. Everybody talks about the attacks. Do you really know why you're being attacked? It's not because you're a bad person necessarily. It's because you're not recognizing the greatness within you. You're not doing anything with the gifts that you've been given. Adjacent possibilities and the angel of balance. Justice is being served. Sagittarius. If you're chosen, be chosen. Everyone is chosen by God. But it's up to you if you choose to live that lifestyle. 
if you choose to have to, to live an intentional life and be purposeful that's a choice you decide if you want to break that generational curse. You decide if you want to be a healer of the ages. Because guess what? The enemy will never stop chasing you if you choose to, to be chosen. This darkness will always be on your heels. So if you don't want to be a warrior, if you don't want to spartan up, if you don't want to do it, then stop lying to yourself and everybody else. Because I'm telling, the evil that's out now, y'all, it's a different type of beast. It's a different type of beast, I'm telling you. It's taking the best of the best down. So if you don't know how to say to people that you're walking away, that you're not going to put up with their mess anymore, or if you don't even know how to look yourself in the mirror and say, I can't be like that anymore, you're going to lose this battle. There's no way you will survive. If you're not willing to tell that lover, that friend, that family member, hey, I can't hang out with you anymore. Because guess what? You and, and people around you, you're picking different sides. And we make it to this point every year. This doesn't stop. It's never going to stop. There's always going to be somebody that wants your spot. And if you don't recognize, once again, why you're here and what you're meant to do, somebody will steal your spot because they know why you're here. They know what's inside of you. Some of you, you need to stop running from your gifts, your talents, and your abilities. Stop hanging around people and doing things that distract you from really getting on the right course and like getting on your own sacred path and journey. Stop making excuses. Because the enemy wants you to stay chained to the past. The enemy does not want you to wake up and see that you've been blind. You've been in a matrix. The enemy doesn't want you to see that. But the truth is, is that some of you, some of us, myself included, we don't want to see because it's like, oh my goodness, if I have to go and do what God is telling me to do, there's so much work. Do you want to do the work or not? All tied up contract. These karma contracts are trying to have you all tied up. You have no choice now, but to open your third eye and see. Like I said, everybody walking around you now, they all look nice. Everything seems sweet right now. But what about your life purpose? If you're meant to be a seer, be a seer. But the only way you're going to see the truth is by opening your eyes, opening your spiritual eyes. Otherwise, you're going to live in a life and it's always going to be a lot of anxiety. You're always going to be paranoid. Until you find that balance within, yin and yang. Until you understand the importance of you knowing when to receive and when to, to give. When to sit still and when to take action. You have to become more discerning to know how do you need to navigate through life at this time. Because we're in really murky waters right now. The water is going to stay murky and muddy. You have to be able to see through it. Nobody is telling you that in, in, in these terrible times that all of a sudden everything is going to get better. It's your perception. How do you see the situation? You can see the good in anything. But things around you may not actually improve. How you live your life is what's going to allow things to improve for you. Y'all know, today we just got to go to Tarot Church because I'm just seeing in the collective like so many people are losing or in danger of losing this battle because you're focused on all the wrong things. Everybody comes to me, well, who is doing this to me? Who is like, you cannot be in victim consciousness right now. I could care less about who's sending a text to me. 
They come all the time. I'm not worried about who's sending it. I'm just worried about protecting myself and, and staying alive. And I'm and I'm constantly asking God, God, why? What do I need to know about the reason why they're attacking me? Show me what they see. The emperor, the lover. Some of you, you need to choose love. Loving yourself, being fruitful, being abundant, creating something. In the life, in, in the world that we live in now, love is the biggest weapon. And you're being protected, but you being protected is not enough if you aren't willing to take the leap of faith into something new. The enemy is going to keep attacking you. For a lot of people, you say, oh, I'm being attacked. I'm being attacked. Is it an attack or is it an, an, an initiation? <laughs> now I'm stuttering. Because for some, you're mistaking an attack for actually being initiated. The initiation is not easy. You have to battle a few beasts. To earn your stripes. I mean, it's it's just a, a part of the game. It's spiritual warfare. It's like boot camp. You're in boot camp. Are you going to make it or not? Judgment. This is a wake-up call. Are you utilizing the tools and the resources that you've been given to manifest all that you need and that you desire. You you have something to offer. Page of Pentacles. But judgment. It's a wake up call. Like I said. Do you recognize the magic within yourself? Because the enemy sees it clearly. The enemy is constantly. In the dark shedding light on you. The enemy is constantly studying you. How much are you studying yourself? How invested are you right now in learning about yourself so that you can be free and liberated? The Queen of Cups is very, very intuitive. A creator. Eclectic. Free. Loving. Nurturing. You can never be in this type of energy if you don't even know that you have that type of magic within yourself. And the world will make it impossible to know that if all you do is go through attacks, but you're going to be going through attacks until you discover who you actually are. These attacks are not only from the enemy. God is also testing you. How bad do you want your life? What are you willing to do for your contract? We're in the right now. It's like in the matrix, you're in negotiations. How bad do you want it? What are you willing to give? How bad do you want it? Knight of Swords. Are you still talking about taking action or have you gotten up and, and made the, the choice to take action? Are you standing front line on the battlefield? What are you doing? Or are you waiting on the offer to just fall in your hand? Nothing is, is just given to any of us. It's a lot of players in the game right now. Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Some of you, you got somebody in your life. They want to be you. They don't want to do the work. So, yeah, they're sending all kinds of attacks to you. You have to still stand up and fight. For some of you in the third party situations, you have to be willing to walk away. If somebody wants you to be in competition with somebody else, you have to have enough self-worth and dignity about yourself to say, no, I wasn't called to do this. That wasn't a part of my purpose. You can be free. 
You don't have to stay behind waiting on somebody to offer you something that you can go and create and manifest for yourself. Whether it's friends, family, lovers, job. You cannot, nothing is going to be handed to you. Trust me, I resonate with this too. Nobody's going to help you improve your life, your health, your friendships, your family. This, it's all on you. Every bit of it. The Hermit. You have to go with an introspection, healing, growth, development. And you may have to go on this journey by yourself. Judgment. Everyone is being called to wake up. The moon. This new moon, a lot of people are... Wow. Look at this. The moon, the hangman, the temperance, and the temperance. You got the people who figured it out and the people that are still trying to figure it out. This Sagittarius moon, people are awakening. The moon is here twice. This Sagittarius moon, you guys, is no joke. The new moon is Sagittarius. Before this year is over, God is saying for my, my people who are earth angels, are you going to assume your role and position right now? It's an SOS. You have some who are like, I'm ready. And you got some that's trying to figure it out. And that's okay. But nothing is going to be hidden anymore. The moon is getting closer and closer. It's cleansing. It's clearing. It's, it's, it's shedding light on everything. There are no more illusions. The illusions are there, but you have the choice to see them. If you are allowing yourself to awaken to the truth. I would say you have to sacrifice what's trying to sacrifice you. Something is on you right now. It's calling you into your mission. It's not just, oh, I'm being attacked. Oh, my ancestors are going to attack those people because they're bothering me. No, Sometimes you're being attacked because you need to actually do something different. You're being attacked right now to get in your, into mission, into purpose. The victim consciousness that most of us are programmed to be in the, will tell you that everybody's against me. Everybody's after me. They all want my inheritance. Do you even know what your inheritance is? Do you really know the power that you possess being an earth angel? You have to wake up and know who you are. And why the enemy so badly wants to be you and take from you. And you have to be willing to take a risk. It's do or die. It's life or death. You have to be willing to pretty much say you, you are willing to give up your life. Your old life. You have to be willing to risk your old life. To have a new beginning. It doesn't serve you anymore. Those friends don't serve you. That old relationship doesn't serve you. That job doesn't serve you. That mindset, it doesn't serve you. You have to be willing to say, you know what? I'll give it up. To be born again. You have to choose a side. And the king of cups is here. Being, emo being open, loving, caring, kind, but emotionally mature. You can, you can be madly in love with, with yourself or other people, but do you know how to detach? Do you know how to love yourself? Do you know when to stop giving to others? It's okay to, to it's great to be selfless, but sometimes you have to be selfish with certain people. This is just a spiritually, you know, a spiritual guidance message. It's, it's not a storyline because that's the problem. We keep looking for storylines. The tower is here. Justice is here. And the high priestess, this high priestess, she's, she's going behind the veil. 
You have to go behind the veil now if you want justice. And it may cause your entire life to be destroyed, the life as you know it. You have to be prepared for that. Life as you know it is no more. And a lot of people who are awakening right now with their spiritual gifts, everybody wants to be spiritual until you see what's behind the veil. Let me tell you something about that. You don't get to go back. Once you look behind the veil, nothing will ever be the same. You don't get to go back. This goes for people too who keep playing around. Oh, I want to be spiritual. I want to read tarot. I want to be a psychic. Okay. Know what you're getting into. Because it's really not a game. Don't get into it and then say you're afraid of it. And don't let fear stop you from getting into it if that's what you're called to do. Again, the gifts that are within you is what's going to protect you every time you go outside. Your discernment is what's going to tell you when you should leave, stay, stop, go, start. That's what you need. We're moving into a more spiritual world. Without spiritual gifts, you won't survive. So if you allow yourself to be distracted every day instead of focusing on what's actually within you, you're going to miss out on everything. So just keep that in mind. The news will tell you every day about all the things that's happening. That's great. What exactly are you doing so that you're not the next victim? You can plainly see money isn't going to save you. <laughs> a relationship isn't going to save you. The only person that can save you is you. Your spiritual gifts that people laughed at you about, that's, that's the thing that's protecting you and, and your loved ones too at this point. How much of that are you developing for yourself now, though? That's why I tell you, I don't mind taking breaks from my channel. I'm not going to let anything take me out because I'm distracted. You have to put away the distractions to find out who you are. The bottom of the deck, we have Thanksgiving. Something is significant about this holiday. Like I said, for some of you, you're going to perhaps see people from your past. You're going to have things come up. People have family feuds during the holidays. Whatever happens, there are contracts here that need to be ended for good. In order for you to separate yourself from the past and move into something new. But this Thanksgiving, be sure to give gratitude. Give thanks and give gratitude for the things that are in your life. Give gratitude and thanks for the things that are not in your life either. There is something very, very beautiful that's coming for many people. But you have to pass this first. I don't think that a lot of us recognize that in order to get to your own birthright, you first have to know who you were birthed to be. That's the first step. You don't get to the, the perfect relationship, the, the relationship that's meant to be, if you don't even know what role you're supposed to play in that relationship. I see everybody wants to talk about love, love, love. Do you know what you're supposed to do in that relationship? Have you had a dream, a vision, or, or prophecy at all about what are you and that person supposed to do? Because it's not just you're supposed to make money, have kids, and, and post cute pictures and die. No, it, it's bigger than that. Do you know what you're actually supposed to be doing? On every realm and on every timeline with that person, what are the two of you meant to do together? If you don't know that yet, that may be the reason why that relationship is not coming towards you. Not because it's not for you, but because... 
You can't move into certain things in life until you first just step into yourself. <laughs> Hidden truth. You are hiding from your true self. Who are you? When you find out who you are fully and why the enemy wants to attack you, copycat you or whatever, then everything will, will make sense. Some of you, you, you're still needed to get the key. Halloween. Some of you, it's been confusion spells and all kinds of stuff happening since Halloween. And the enemy is trying to get you to, to pretty much fall to your breaking point. To make you feel like the situation at hand is just entirely too much to bear. So that you can be kicked out. The enemy wants you to be kicked out of your own soul contract. So that it can take over. These are entities and principalities, not just people. We're not just battling against flesh. Look, kicked out angel numbers. Do you know how many people would love to be able to communicate with the divine, with the universe? How many people actually want the things in your life that are meant to be? Financial abundance, your spiritual abundance. Your friendships, your family, your relationships, because you're receiving an upgrade, upgrade, new job. There's a phase that's ending in your life where people are, are eventually going to have to stop fighting you. But they stop fighting you when you earn your stripes. That's the reason why some people, you know, you don't hear them constantly talking about attacks because they've earned their stripes. They have to fight these these demons, these entities, these beasts head on. The beast is going to keep coming to you, bullying you until you slay it. And once again, I cannot reiterate this enough. Look within yourself. Before you look outside of yourself. Whatever keeps coming to you, it wants something that you have. Whether the thing that you have is good or bad. It wants to feed off of your pain. Maybe it wants your fortune. Maybe it wants your love. It's something that you have that it wants. So you have to discover what does it want. Once you discover that, then you can beat it. There's going to be another dark force to come against you, but at least you won't keep fighting against the same thing. Some of you, that toxic partner that keeps coming against you, you need to figure out what does it want. Does it want to connect to the codependency? Does it want the sex? What does it want? So that you can figure that out and, and, and keep it out. On your journey, you're going to keep battling. But please stop battling the same beast over and over. Slay it. It's time to slay it. It is time to slay whatever beast or dragon is in your life. Beast, demon, dragon, whatever it is in your life, it has to be slayed so that you can move forward. I feel like a lot of people, these karmic contracts, they're up, but they're just being dragged out. This phase has to end. The readings, none of the readings are shifting or changing. Because... Not enough people are in shock. Are I'm saying in shock seeing this car here. But yeah, it's information. Things that are happening that will leave you shook. Some of you altercations are gonna break out. People will be blocked. Some of you, these are the tower moments that need to happen. People need to have these these fights, arguments, and these endings. Because a lot of people are still trying to give people the benefit of doubt. When you know that you need to leave it alone, it's it's like until somebody decides that they want to fuss, fight, and argue with you, you won't deny them access. It shouldn't have to get to that point. If you know someone is lying to you and you're constantly finding out information about friends, lovers, family members, or whomever, let it go. Some of you, it's like it's the, the writing is on the wall. You see that there are people and situations in your life that you keep going around and around. 
And even now, like the, the divine, the universe can only do so much. It's like it's being taken away from you, but you still you go back to it. You can't go back to it. If God says block that person, block them. If God, I mean, it's it's clear. It's almost like now some people are being so disobedient that these huge tower moments that bring about pain have to happen for people to really catch on to the, the fact that like you really need to leave something behind. Because a lot of people just don't have the strength within and the will within themselves to simply leave it behind. With all of the writing on the wall, with all the signs and the symbols. People are still looking for a reason to stay behind in these old cycles. You need to cleanse your space. People are watching you. The divination spine, they're doing tarot readings on you. People who are stuck, who are stubborn, they're at a fork in the road. But a lot of you, you need to purify yourself because you're leveling up and you're jumping to conclusions about the reasons why you have blockages and, and obstacles in your life. And there's a huge missing piece here. Someone in your life is not who they appear to be. Okay. There are secrets being revealed about things that have happened behind the scenes. Some of you, you're confiding in a person and you don't know that that's your enemy. Some people don't realize that the reason why they're going through things is because they still haven't cleaned out the closet. You still have skeletons in your closet. And things are going on behind the scenes. The enemy, like I said, is coming in. It'll take anything from you. And yes, there are people in your life who are very childish and sending you the evil eye. But this is a time now to go in for self-reflection. The signs are cautioning you about certain people, places, things, and situations. Are you guarding yourself? Are you protecting yourself? Or are you still trying to get in to figure out what is the missing piece? Instead of actually just focusing on your life purpose. Because if you focus on your life purpose, the missing pieces will come to you, honestly. You have to be able to see through the fog. Because the signs and symbols are there. Some of you, it's new relationships coming. Partnerships, business partnerships, romantic partnerships. But you have people around you who are childish. They're giving you the evil eye. People around you, you don't really know these people like you think you know them. These people do things behind the scenes or they've done things in their past that you know nothing about. They're lying to you about everything and you're still trusting them. Instead of taking out the time to see, wow. Every time I get around this person, every time I get around this family member, it's an issue. It's an obstacle. There's a challenge here. When are you going to recognize these blockages and see them for what they truly are and decide to purify your, your space and yourself so that you can level up? Y'all, this is a game. We're in a matrix. It's a game. How bad do you want to get out of it? None of this stuff is changing if you notice it. The game isn't that hard to win once you realize that it's nothing but a bunch of cycles. Celebrating. You can't be stuck in the past and, and, and say that you want to celebrate. A new life. You're still in the past. And sometimes the past you got, it's a mindset. It's easy for us to think that we've moved on to something new. You can move move, and make all these changes, but until you change your mind about things, you're going to be stuck. Some people, you're not going to change them. They're not going on this journey with you. Leave them where they are. Leave them where they are. 
Like, really choose yourself. Like, it's a Spartan up. Slay these demons and, and move on. The Wheel of Fortune is here and the High Priestess. Metatron. It says the Recording Angel. Advancement and progress teaches, guides, and records events in the Book of Life. And the High Priestess. God the Eternal. Lasting success. Protection. Like I said, it's what's in you. This is your, your life story. Who, who it has been documented for you to be. Archangel Metatron. Who are you? When you look in the book of life, like, do you know who you are? When you know who you are, then you know why the enemy is attacking you. King of Cups, Ten of Cups. It's time for you to recover things that have been stolen from you. The King of Cups. Being the King of Cups, like Scorpio energy. You see everything, you feel everything, but you know how to, like I said, practice detachment. You know how to be balanced. Ten of Cups, it says, God, the master of the universe, confounds the wicked, brings victory and peace. The King of Cups observes everything around them. You can see the love around you. You can be love. But you have to be balanced. When you're given the Ten of Cups, do you know how to, to have balance? Do you know how to protect it? Some of you, I keep saying, there's a miracle with your name on it. But if you don't know how to protect it, you're not going to receive it. God is looking now to see, okay, when I come in and I give you everything that your heart desired, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to give it to your friends and family members that I told you to leave alone? Are you going to share your birthright with the karmic person that I keep telling you to leave alone? That's why it's not coming in. I just feel strongly like God is telling us you can't be the victim and, and, and serve and, and serve with me. You can't do that. You have the king of swords here and the nine of swords. The nine of swords is stress, fear, anxiety, worry, feeling haunted almost. It's a lot of anxiety. The king of swords. Some of you, again, the King of Swords and the King of Cups is out here. Being intentional, being mindful, being steadfast, knowing that you are free and sovereign. It says the King of Swords here, victory, grants victory and protection from lightning. And the Nine of Swords, purification, protection from the impious. Look at that. It's a lot of stuff that's going to try to attach itself to you. But the Eight of Cups is here. Do you have the strength to walk away from it? And interestingly enough, this Eight of Wands here is in the reverse. You know, Eight of Wands is fast movement, communication, travel. Do you know how to walk away from something that when you see that it's causing you delays in your life? Or with the Two of Pentacles, are you going to continuously juggle? I feel like this is a huge, huge message, especially because the holidays are coming. Some of you, your family is holding you back. I had a friend that called me yesterday that I haven't talked to in months. And we were having a conversation and, and he mentioned a quote to me that says, you can't grow up where you grew up. Listen to that again. You can't grow up where you grew up. Some of you are so stuck on trying to take people with you. Sometimes you need to leave the nest, figure out who you are, do what you're going to do, and, and maybe if it's safe, you can return. But you keep trying to stay in environments where there is no growth. You stay at the job, but you know there is no growth. You keep, you stay in the relationship and you know you're unhappy. 
You keep hanging out with your friend and you know that they're jealous and envious. But then you go and you beg and you plead God to give you something new. You cannot grow up where you grew up. There's no more growing here. It's over like this cycle for many of you, it's over. Whatever it is, it could be something in your finances, your work life, your career, your friends, your family. But really take time to look around yourself to see why aren't you leveling up? What needs to be eliminated? Who needs to be eliminated? And don't count yourself out. Something within you needs to be changed just like the people around you in order for you to get to where it is that you're trying to go. And I, you know, this message for some may be very triggering and a lot of people who don't like to hear the real will be pissed off about it. But even me, that's why I take breaks from my channel. Sometimes I'm off this channel for three months. I'll go through my own karmic lessons and karmic doesn't mean bad, but it's just when I see it's time for me to level up. I don't mind separating myself from things. Tarot is not my whole life. <laughs> this isn't my whole life. There's much more to life than me doing this. So, no, I'm not going to only stay here and do this. You don't have to focus on only one thing in life, especially when you're you're not progressing in it. You have to know when to walk away. What is your pursuit of happiness? What does that look like for you? And again, when people force you to juggle life, time and money and they're prohibiting you from moving forward, you have to walk away. A lot of people, I, I promise, with all of the energy, people are like, oh, yeah, there's an eclipse coming and you, you thought you were just going to wake up and have superpowers and everything that bad in your life was going to be gone. No, you have to make that choice. You have to work with the divine. You have to work with the universe. We're all here to co-create with the divine. The energy is shifting, but if you don't shift into a new frequency yourself, you won't reap any of the benefits or the rewards of, of a new a shift in, in energy. Did your level of consciousness shift? Are you self-aware enough to see that, okay, with this new energy that's coming, I can't talk to that friend anymore. Because every time we get on the phone, that person is extremely negative. They're pessimistic. I can't do that. You cannot drag old stuff into a new cycle with you. I keep telling you, you have to find the good in some of these goodbyes. You got to burn the bridge and you have to make peace with the fact that you're never going to cross that bridge again. Yep. Ace of Wands and the Devil. Ace of Wands, the Devil, and here is the star. The Three of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. When you stop allowing yourself to be seduced by the devil, whatever that is in your life, poverty mindset, heartbreak, pain, family, friends, laziness, procrastination, that is then when you will stop being stuck. Whatever this low vibrational energy here is, it's your biggest downfall. And it's up to you to determine what that is. Because what you have is the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. It's a passionate new beginning here full of security and stability. You get to move into a time in your life where you are adored by God himself. And God will send you people. The Three of Cups, your soul family, your soul tribe here who are in alignment with the star. Your destined path, your destiny. You will receive spiritual clemency. Things will be balanced out for you. You will be protected. The attacks will, will be few, far, and in between when you really get on your path. 
The Three of Cups is here. You will discover people. People will discover you. That you can move through life with. And actually grow. When you get to the Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and you have this type of val first, like self-worth and value about yourself, it speaks volumes. It drives away evil. When you start vibing so high, certain things, it'll try you, but it won't affect you. If you're constantly being knocked down right now by spiritual attacks, you got to spartan up. You got to wisen up. You got to choose to let, leave everything behind. That's not allowing you to really just develop, grow. This is a time now for research and development. Research and figure out why am I going through these things? Where is it truly coming from? Because it is time for you to level up, but you have to purify. Purify your energy and your aura. Like I said, the friends that you talk to, the family that you talk to, the places that you go. You have to make a decision. Your dreams right now, they need a, a practical plan. Your hard work is paying off, but you're not going to receive the reward as long as you are sitting amongst thieves. A time to give rather than take. Don't be afraid to give love. Love is what a lot of people need right now. You're very close to achieving your goal. This green here definitely makes me think, though, about the heart chakra and money. Don't be afraid to make a donation. Have a cheerful heart when you give. Don't be afraid to give somebody advice. Some of you... You have gifts and, you know, you could even have like the gift of prophecy or anything. You're afraid to open up your mouth and tell someone something that can actually help them. Don't be afraid to give. Don't be afraid to give because you feel like so many people have taken from you. A lot of you have experienced narcissistic abuse and with friends and family and lovers or, or whatever the case is. And now you're so guarded. You won't give anything. And then you ask yourself, well, why am I not receiving? What makes you think that the universe is going to keep giving to you? It's energy. It's an exchange. Are you giving anything to other people? Always give thanks and have gratitude. Always. I thank God for every bad situation and, and demon I've ever had to encounter. Take time to breathe out. Rest. Rejuvenate. Journal. Get in nature. Have some time with your quality time with yourself to cleanse your energy. Yeah, it's a time for healing. There's a cycle here that's over. I don't think that some of you have really recognized or something in your life. It's really over. This to me feels like a lack of, of acceptance that like something is over and it's not coming back. Nothing, wow. Nothing will come of this situation. I just said it. Something is over. Somebody is beating a dead horse. Their relationship is over. That person that you think is your twin flame, it's over. They're not coming back, okay? They're not. It's, it's over. And a new romantic cycle begins. Whether this is with a lover I mean, romantic, obviously it's, it's romantic, but for some of you, it's new cycles beginning in platonic friendships with, for, I'm sorry, platonic relationships, friends, family. Things are being balanced out for you to have true, genuine love. You have to work through your fears. Some of you, like I said, you're so afraid of being hurt that you're not even allowing the new positive things in. There's a new start coming. 
but nothing is yet set in stone. You don't receive this new start if you don't take the time out to cleanse and purify yourself. Some of you right now, too, you want new things and you're trying to move too fast. You haven't actually healed from the thing that you feel pretty much broke you. You haven't healed from that. Yet you want to jump right into something new. Give yourself some grace. Give yourself some time. Take time out to heal. I just feel like right now is a time where everyone really needs to prioritize their, their spiritual maintenance. Your spiritual hygiene. Really connecting with your higher self. Because these are some very, very difficult times. I don't know. I just saw this energy and spirit. I haven't used this deck before. But let's just see what comes out. And I'll close the message out. And I know you guys, like, I'm not trying to fuss at you. It's just, though, somebody really needs to know that you're very gifted. You're talented. Like, it's sad that so many people don't see their own self-worth and value. And as a result of that, you're staying in these cycles where you're not being valued. Your eternal spirit, it says higher self, sacred intuition, ancestors, historical connections and purposes. Your spirit guys are trying, your ancestors, your loved ones, they're trying to connect with you. They have tasks for you to do here in this world, in this realm. They have things that they want you to do. But if you're not tapping in, you're not receiving the messages. Because a lot of you, you're too tapped into karmic energy. You're letting these karmics distract you. Creation. Oh, I like these cards. Soul expression, something new. You expressing yourself is something new. But also, when it comes to your spiritual journey, this is something you have to water. You have to grow. You have to develop. You have to nurture that. Phase entanglement. Look at this. It's like the mean girls. Stop listening to everyone talk to you. In this phase of your life, you don't need to be entangled with people who are not actually a part of your soul family. Archangel Raziel, here, Wisdom, Inspiration, and Akashic Records. And at the bottom of the deck, number seven, Past Life Guides, Karmic Lessons, Present Assistance. You have spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. They're trying to come in and help you to be more optimistic about your new beginning. But spiritual warfare, listen, the demons are out. To suck the life out of you so that you don't see this. You have more help than what you realize. But you have to use your spiritual eyes to see it. You have to. Self-acceptance, compassion, and forgiveness. Yeah. Yeah. Spirit guides and your your spirit family. You have to detach yourself from the karmic family and connect with your spirit family right now. So, you guys, I really hope this gave you a little bit of insight. It just it's, it's not a storyline today. You know, it's this is just a message for someone who really needs to hear it. You have people around you who aren't who they appear to be. People are body snatching, soul snatching, shape shifting. And these are things that are a distraction. Your spiritual eyes are opening, allowing you to be more aware of this. But it's not going anywhere. 
you're going to see more. You're going to hear more. You're going to feel more. Your gifts sometimes may seem like a burden, but they're not a curse. Your gifts are what go is what's going to help you break curses. It's your perception of how you're seeing it. Spiritual warfare, like it's like the enemy is is walking at night trying to figure out if he can come in your house and drag you out to serve for the devil. You have to be tapped in and in tune with yourself to know which side are you serving? What are you doing? Why are you here? They know. That's why it knows your address so well. The enemy knows your address. Why? Because it wants to come to rob, steal, kill, and destroy. It already knows what's in there. The enemy will never go to an empty house. But if you don't know what's in your house of value, that's the problem. You have to really protect yourself at this time. 